Hi, so I know I promised that this would be live, but I was not ready for that. So if you are new to following me, my name is Megan and I'm Flux Nourishment on Instagram and Facebook. And soon I will have a web page that I'm proud of. Um, but today we're going to do spring rolls or summer rolls. I, there's so many different names, but just a wrapper that looks like this. And it has lots of vegetables in it and um, I'm using bean threads inside and a brown rice wrapper so I'm kind of kind of give you a tour of what I'm using before I start and um, then we'll have to wait for the um, wrapper to get soft enough all right so this is the brand of wrapper that I'm using and I got it at Whole Foods to begin with but then I found it on Thrive Market also so um, that's the first thing you're gonna soak it in water and then I'm going to show you all of my veggies laid out. So that is what my board is going to look like when I start my, the process of making the wrappers. Okay, and so I'm going to set you up so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to soak it in water. And I use like a plate that has uh, water in it I'm sure there's like a v much better method and maybe somebody can can give me an idea but I just put water in there and I leave the wrapper to soak in the water and you just kind of check it to see you'll get used to like what works the best uh, but if you take it out too early then it's not soft enough but if you take it out too um, late then it's too soggy and it won't um it just tears really easily on your platter so we're just going to kind of let it hang out there i chopped up cilantro uh, basil uh, cucumbers and like these little threat and these little stick things um, carrots also thinly sliced this is a white carrot but i also have orange carrots here and um, so I said basil, but I did not chop up the basil. I left the basil in leaves because it looks pretty on the top. And also um, spinach. And what I'm using as sort of uh, the filling, it's kind of like what fills you up, I guess. It's my favorite part, is these are bean threads. Um, you can also, if you can't find bean threads, I got bean threads from Whole Foods. I haven't checked to see if Thrive has them. Um, but I'm sure they do. If you can't find them though, you can use just a brown rice noodle. And actually my assistant Sam is going to give me some brown rice noodles and so I can show what brand I use um, in case you can't find the bean threads because you can definitely find Annie Chung's My Fun uh, noodles anywhere um, in pretty much any grocery store. Okay, so this is kind of the consistency that you want it. That's how long you want it to soak. And I'm going to lower you guys so you can get a better view of what I'm doing here. So, oh, yeah. All right, so here is the other option if you can't find the bean threads. You can use the Annie Chung's My Fun. And, okay, so we are going to start out with the bean threads. And you're just gonna put a glob there. You don't want to add. You don't want too much, but you also don't want too little in your wrapper, because then it'll just be a skinny guy. So you want a cucumber. This one's a little too long, so I'm gonna chop it. Or I'm gonna cut it with my finger, and then some cilantro and some spinach. You can also use cabbage. I've used cabbage plenty of times, and then. Oh, you know what? I want to add some sauce. Okay, so Sam, my assistant, made me some sauce. This is an almond butter um, dressing, and it's from the Oh She Glows cookbook, and it's under one of her salads. And I'll, in the comments, I'll write which salad that it's from. But it's one of the dressings that she has listed in her cookbook for a salad. All right, so you're just going to take the outside portions. You're going to bring them in. And then you're gonna take the bottom and you're gonna bring it up. And with your fingers, you're gonna tuck it in so it's nice and tight. And the first couple you do are gonna be not that great. But then you gotta keep practicing and you'll eventually get it. Cause it's just not that hard. It's kind of like rolling up a burrito. And then you have a little 
imperfect summer roll that will be delicious to eat. And then you can dip it in the sauce and it's really yummy. So I think that is it for you guys. If you have any more questions, I hope that that was informative and helpful. Um, I think a lot of the struggle with uh, summer rolls is what brand to use for uh, your rice filling and your rice outside that's the main question and then the, the other part is just you practicing you'll eventually figure it out so signing off today and hopefully we will see you on monday and the website should be ready uh, middle of next week all right thanks guys